Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode with Fox, who now we will be able to hear hopefully. And we are here to uh, look at custom custom modules. So, uh, what are custom modules? Well, you can take a look at the custom module thread that Planetfall made, and this is quite co comprehensive. And we will be generating some of the code automatically, like this one, for example. But if you uh, want just a quick guide, I have begin uh, writing one right here. So first, uh, right, that's, uh, I recommend you read the, the post in its entirety, so you know exactly what is going on. And then you download and run my custom ship editor because here you can actually place custom modules on your ship and i will show you what the bomb spawner yeah yeah nice so we will be making this work in a map oh cool and let's continue with the list very interesting Okay, so uh, next you can read here about the modules, so uh, I will just I I explain it anyway, so you can read it, uh, read this later on your own. And next we need to uh, define our own custom modules, so uh, here is, uh, well let's go here is very very your no I, i'm sorry uh, go where you extracted the zip with the uh, with the custom ship editor and in there will be a folder custom modules and here i recommend copying the mortar module because it's like the most uh, the most co common one with with all the values preset. So then you modify it maybe like this. This is already the modify. So you change the name. It doesn't matter that much. Here this name will be the name that you will see here. Again, this doesn't matter that much for the gameplay. Next we have the width and height, which. Are you can see three cells wide and three cells high. Yeah. And next we have, uh, yeah, this we are getting to the important bits. Uh, here is the image of the module. Now you need to upload the image into image and then custom modules. Okay. Right. So just like this, very simple. Next, the build cost is how much energy will it take to build the module. And finally, this is the script name. Uh, you just set this to the name of the script that will actually be running the, the logic of the, of the module itself. So just name this anything and then name the, the PRPL script the same. Right? So after you do all that the, the bombs module yeah uh, is that the module that the ship editor creates when saving or is that another one no this is uh, the module that you will write yourself the one oh. that will be automatically generated is this one because you need three scripts for yes yes yes, yes yes so uh, that's that's true and i will get to where to get each one of these three uh, scripts in in a minute okay so after that you need to restart the application now i will not do it because i have it already here because in order to load the custom modules it needs to be restarted and after you do it you should see your module here oh yeah so we built a ship, you put the module on there. If I, oh, you need to not move your mouse value. Okay. And then you save as. So you fill the name, you fill all this thing, all these things, and you save as small bomb, right? Save. 
and after that two things will happen if we go into the ships di directory you will notice that right, this is the file for the particle fleet yeah this this is the file for the editor that also has the uh, custom modules that are in it mm -hmm. and this is the file for you because this is the script that will add the custom modules to the ships so this will go over all the ships that are named small bomber and it will add the custom module to them if it is not added already okay so you just copy this module i mean this script you go into editor the the one you are editing and you paste it here and then you go here you go compile and then you add it to a core that's maybe somewhere up the map it it, it really doesn't matter so this is one of the three scripts that you need to and just to make do. sure this is the script that is uh, created by uh, your ship editor yes okay cool uh, yes it has been modified so we can close it now or maybe okay. not let's just uh, let, let's just leave it open so next okay. we have uh, All right, we have this this script. This is the this is the basic because uh, all the custom modules have things in common that they need energy to build that they should be destroyed when the right you want it to behave exactly like a normal module. So when the ship is destroyed underneath it, you want it destroyed as well. Yeah, and then it, it starts building and all this command fun functionality is in this module ship module prpl which is uh, appended in this in this forum so you just download it right into your editor i have it already there so you just override it why not so now you have two of the three modules that you need to make it work and yes lastly if you look at the uh, at the other that adds the this is the, the the generated one that adds the this script to the that adds the custom module to the ships you can see that it adds this script as well as the as the ship module yeah. so this is your your module this is the default ship module so we need to make this script as well yeah so this you need to do manually from the start so you just create it now i have i have already created it so i'm just going to edit it now and you you just need to write this uh, on a row so i have all, already written some of it so uh, these are the parameters that you can set and uh, Oh, so let's start with the images. That will be <laughs> that will be simple. Mm -hmm. So I have changed both the bomb spawner and the bomb to now have suitable images for both enemy and friendly bombs, mm -hmm. so that you can easily have friendly and enemy bomb spawner and fr friendly and enemy bombs. Yeah. <coughs> So next we have, uh, yeah, these are more, more, more parameters for for the bomb. And when we create one, we just pass these pass these parameters into it. So that's not that interesting. What is interesting is these two. This is the energy that the module needs to produce the bomb, and this is. Uh, how often it can consume the energy so only once every 30 frame it will consume one energy to make progress towards making the bomb okay. 
and let's look at the code so first we set the image depending on if this is uh, on enemy ship or not now i guess this is not needed because maybe we can do this so first uh, this this module will do a lot of useful things for us one is it will remember the ship that it is on so we can get that uh, from this script like this and this will save the ship id of the current ship we are on so we can then uh, do this i believe and oh not not, not this so we can automatically detect whether this is a friendly or enemy uh, module depending on the ship we are on. So let me just check real quickly uh, in here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I did it right. So have everything clear until now? So next, uh, depending if this is enemy ship or not, we set the image and we also set the scale to 1 and 1 and uh, scale 1 equals 3 cells. So if we wanted to do a 4x4 four four module, maybe like a little bit bigger, then we would need to set scale 1.3333 for a 4x4 four four module. Right, but we want a one by one, I mean three by three module, so we do one and one scale. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so let's skip this for now and let's see how do we do that the image rotates with the ship. This is done by this. Again, the, this, this module will compute the angle for us. And we can just save it here and reuse it later. And we just set the image rotation of the main image because the main image is the, the image of the module. Mm -hmm. And next, this will also compute for us whether or not the module exists and is built. And this will be saved here. And zero means uh, that the, the hull is destroyed underneath the module one means that the module is building and two means that it is built okay so if i do no i want no uh, what is going on here oh right this. so if i destroy this now it is uh, destroyed completely Mm -hmm. Now it is building and soon it will be built. So that is what this is for. So now we get to the logic of what we want to do. Now if this is destroyed completely, we want to set uh, visibility to zero. So that we don't show the, the module at all. Yeah, the image needs to be hidden. And this will do just that because Uh, this will take four arguments for the color and that is red, green, blue and alpha and alpha stands for visibility. So we set visibility to zero and the remaining will remain at full. So we don't mess with the colors. Now we could mess with the colors <laughs> like this. It would be interesting. So let's see just what would happen. Then you have a red one. Yeah, so it goes completely red. So we don't want that. We want to just leave the colors as they are and just adjust the the transparency of the visibility. Yeah. Okay, so if the ship is building, we want half visibility. And if it's built, I mean the module is building. And if it's built, we want full visibility. Yeah. And and next uh, let's go to the actual logic so as i said the energy will count how many energy has the module accumulated 
and cooldown is there so that it doesn't drain energy too fast it will only consume one energy every this many frames and since there are 30 frames in a second this will consume one energy per second so maybe we want two energy per second and set this to 15 only and 20 energy in total so in in the end it will spawn one bomb per 10 seconds if it has enough energy yeah so how, how how to work with this well if it is destroyed or building then we reset the energy to zero and uh, we also decrease the cooldown because why not uh, and if it exists then we need to check if the cooldown is already zero or less in which case uh, we will check to we will check and uh, get energy from from the ship and otherwise we will decrease the cooldown if the cooldown isn't at zero or less already we will just decrease it and what we do when the cooldown is ready we get the amount of energy and we check if it is at least one right yeah and if so then we need to increase our own energy decrease the ship energy and reset the cooldown to maximum again and then we check if we have enough energy so this is from here and if so then we fire and we reset energy oh yeah so if you have a module that fires something then this could just get copy pasted basically so this is like more or less the generic firing something module code so here is actually something specific for for the bombs and that is creating the bomb so here we just copy paste from from the bomb spawner and maybe we want to uh, only spawn the bomb in a certain distance from the ship so what we do here well we can even add a new parameter which is uh, range so set it to 50 and this will be the radius of the spawn range yeah so let's spawn the bomb randomly in the in the spawn range so let's start with computing the target coordinates and instead of this we want yeah current x and here we add the the random coordinate i mean the we we just need to uh, do we need we Ah, I'm sorry. We need to do something with the with the random generator so we can do it randomly. So let's try this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So this will get number between this and this, and this is inclusive and this is exclusive, which means if we do from zero to ten, it will actually do from 0 to 9 again this is uh, because if we want to randomly access an element in a list we do just 0 and the size of the list that, it, that, that is because it doesn't count the 10 itself it will just be in from 0 to 9 so we need to do something like that except from 0 to 10 we go from negative range So range ne negative to range plus one, and then we add uh, no no we do like this, and then we let's just do it like this. So this is the 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 random between minus range and range, and we add it to current position, and that will be like. Um, 
target x y mod and the same for y and then we just replace this with this and now so that we can debug easier let's just say we need only only two energy and it it could it should work now in in theory but uh, let's take a look oh yeah it still needs a lot of energy to build so let adjust this so it needs only five energy to build okay okay so compile so it should need only five energy like, and you can see already spawning bombs only in the in the range of the ship. And now it it got uh, over the end of the map. So, what are the ways to fix it? Well, what? Edge destroy, maybe. Uh, one more time, please. Edge destroy. So that the particles of the bomb destroys when it reaches the edge of the map. Yes, yeah, so when it reaches the end, it will explode into particles. Okay. Well, that's an interesting solution, and why not? <laughs> so we will need uh, this bomb, I believe. And here, uh, in the travel function, we add something like explode if out of map uh, well that is a very descriptive name of a function <clears throat> so how do we do it well we already have this so let's uh, let's start from here and then we need to get the the pixel size of the map so let's see if we can we can get something, I mean there's the width and height. Yeah, pixel height of the map, so this is what we need. Let me just copy it. And we need to check that uh, x is at least 0. Well, we actually want to check if it's uh, less than zero, like this, right? And because then, then we we want to explode. And let's just copy paste for y and x map uh, which. great and if it, if the x is greater than the width of the map we also explode and when the y is greater than the height of the map we also explode so let's let's go with this oh uh, yeah and wow something went wow. terribly wrong okay clear particles but Fire mine. So, oh, what? What is going on? Okay, this is fine. Okay, so it's it's working out now. So I I don't know what what that was about to be honest. I think it is very nice that if the bomb explodes, that the particles still come out. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's Beautiful. that's great. So now let's let's do something else. Maybe you got your ships in the back and you are preparing to attack, and you end up with million bombs in your base. So let's add a add a timer that after a certain time the bomb will explode. Very useful. So let's. Uh, what do we call it? Um, just, just timer. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you call it on actual bombs when, when, when they will <laughs> the the time before they explode? Like, uh, well, doesn't matter. Let's just call it timer. 
So by default, we want it to keep zero, which means uh, like infinite. So you can go. But don't worry, because we will of course set it uh, here to be something else. So. Uh, what do we want, want here? Well, let's use a new variable named time, which will, this will be like the maximum time it has left and it, this will be the current time. So let's actually do this. So at the start, uh, the time left to live, if you will, will be initialized to uh, the total time to live. And here, every uh, every iteration, we, we need to check this. So, if timer is uh, greater than zero, so this is this timer set here, which means it has a lifetime. So, what we do now is test if time is uh, still greater than zero. And this means that it still has time to live, so we just uh, decrease this by one. And otherwise, we we just explode again, right? And you can see the usefulness of this because I don't have to copy paste this code everywhere. I can just call this function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, finally, let's uh, where where was this? Oh, here. Let's just add this here because it's the parameter for the bomb. And let's do for uh, one minute, which is sixty times thirty. Fifteen thousand or eighteen hundred is a minute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, no, we want uh, 30 frames per second times 30 seconds in half a minute. So we want only only 900 for half a minute. And we don't want to wait that long, so I will just say it, set it to, to, to 10 seconds. Because I want to debug it easily to see if it works. And when I see it working, then I can... It saves time. Yeah, I can yeah, okay. change it back to like a minute or even something like that. So it's at here on line 42, I think. All right, we don't No. This one is wrong. So we first compare the two things and then we write it. So compile and unpause. Oh, I think, uh, oh right, I know, compiling will reset, yeah, it will re reset this, uh, this enemy flag, I think, is what, what is happening. So when, uh, when a player is running the game, they cannot compile, so this, this isn't a, pr a, a problem. Only that, wow, wow, what wow, is wow. going on? Uh, oh, I think I know what's going on. Hmm. Uh, it had a big spawn in the beginning. What? It spawned a lot in the beginning. Yeah, I know. So maybe know. what's so going on is... Ah, is this? Okay. Uh, maybe it is uh, producing them even when paused, so we don't want to do that. Oh, what, what, what's with this? So let's try to find it. Operate when paused. Oh, I can do oh, this. Yeah, while paused. It needs a D. Yeah, it means that the, the script will run even when I pause the game, I guess. So we don't want to run, 
when I pause the game. Yeah, so let's mm -hmm. try it now. Oh, come on, this is so annoying. <laughs> Oh come on. Okay, let's okay, let's build it build it. Hmm. I have to also yeah. figure out why I cannot build here. Might be hmm, who knows? Why is that? So now we can see it exploding and this should uh, destroy itself after a while. Hmm. Oh I know, I forgot to oh. I forgot to set it here. So let's just copy so this. What? So much up? So much stuff to think about. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, well, custom modules aren't the easiest, but it's 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 really fine, fun to make them. Right? So right, this this works fine, and this should be the strength itself in a while. Come on. Yeah, 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 here you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, nice. So, uh, next, what, what we can do is uh, set these on enemy ships that are spawned with, uh, with this. And let me tell you that I have no idea how to do this, so I will be reading it on the, on the wiki for the first time myself, how to do this specifically. So oh, yeah. let's choose this and oh no. Oh I clicked online. I don't want online. I want custom. Custom, yeah. Choose this design and unpause. Oh, what was with the lag? Well just too many particles, I think. Yeah, that will not build. Put some land around it so it can build. Yeah, I will clear the particles uh, in a while. Yeah, but it's blown up by the particles. Yeah, let's just move it over here. Yeah. So, let's actually read how to how to do this. I don't think it will be that difficult. So now you want to put the custom module on a ship spawner ship? Yes. Oh, that is interesting. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah, I know. So up. no, the explanation is up a little bit. Uh, the explanation is what? The explanation for from planet fall to put it on a, a ship spawner is yeah. uh, in the main thread. Or it, yeah. it's here somewhere. Yeah, uh, yeah somewhere. Um, uh, yeah. Spawn the modules a little bit down, the, the, the second uh, code part. This one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the one that, uh, that, that is generated by, 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 the, by the custom ship editor. Oh, then it should be a little bit more down. Yeah, it should be more or less the same, but... Uh, I was thinking how to. Yeah. Well, may, 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 maybe I will edit this out in the in the in the tutorial, so people don't have to watch us try to figure this out. <laughs> this is um. the part, Kjax. The above method works only for ships in the player's inventory. If you want it to work from ships from spawners, you must use a script. Blah blah blah. So this is the template. From the exchange map, not surely I should. Okay, so let's try that. that one. Oh, can we actually look at here directly? No, it doesn't seem like it. So let's try it here. So exchange. Oh, by planet finance. So we want to play it. Uh, just oh yeah, yeah sure sure so abort and hmm 
Now, where, uh, where is it saved? E exchange? I have to uh, remember the number. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. The number is... Yeah, 11. 11, wow, that, that's it, right? Early one. So, go copy and... Now we do editor and we just use something... Well, let's, let, let's do a new one. So, PF custom modules. Oh, it shouldn't be 11, it should be safe PF one, right? So, PF custom modules. Safe. Yeah. And now we should, we should see it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, mission editor. Don't yeah, I was I was searching for eleven, my dear. Okay, and now we go into wow. There's a lot of them. <laughs> well, ship spawn manager. That's the one, right? Yeah. Oh, so it recognizes the ships by their whole size. It seems three custom module types. Oh wow! Yeah, so it sits directly under the the ship spawner, and it uses guitar ships on range. Yeah, I I was thinking that it would probably do something like that. So yes. It, it it determines it by the house size, I see. Okay. I shouldn't be thinking with this. I only can... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is too complicated yeah. for you. Say some stupid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... Uh, it, it, it isn't that bad, because think about... Oh, we, we don't need this anymore. So think about what the, what the normal module other does. So it just checks all the ships here from your inventory mm -hmm. and adds the module to them. And it also keeps tracks on the sh ships that it already put the module on. And how it keeps track is simple. Well, you just save the, the ID of the ship, right? And then you save one to a variable named the same as the ID of the ship. So this is a trick because then you can check if this variable exists later. <laughs> this is stuff you have to know, I think. Yeah, so this is uh, read and write by reference. I, I guess you haven't seen that yet. There are some... Um... Uh, if you don't know coding, P PRPL or some other stuff, you really have to know certain uh, variables or certain inputs because it's just, if you put that word or that command, it does that. It's just a matter of learning. Not thinking logically, just learning. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, at, at, at the start you have to learn a lot of stuff like this does that, this is how you do this. But once you do that, you can get to the, to the fun stuff. So these two are the, the same. Yeah, I agree. Right, and the, and the same, same with reading. Right, the, 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 this is the same. I mean, these two are the same and these two are the same. And that is why... Here you save one into this variable and here you check what is in this variable. And if there's nothing, it is zero. So that's why you check if it is zero to add the module. And if not, then skip it. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, well, should we try the, the module adding? <laughs> yeah. The way you explain it, it, it always sounds okay. But when you actually try it yourself it's 
a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess yeah. it is. Well, I will, I will be writing a text tutorial too, with all the steps explained in a reasonable yeah. manner, hopefully. So. Yeah, that's very helpful. Let's try that too. So, uh, I guess copy paste this into scripts, enter text, and what should we call it? Uh, auto adder because it adds ship. Well, whatever. Edit. Ship spawner module. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, do as you like, so that you co don't confuse yourself with the names. Yeah, the we don't want to check it, but oh, we need to this get rid of all this and all this basically. Yeah, nice. So then we need to do current uh, coordinates zero one was it get all ships in a range into ships and then like this So this will uh, get all the ships on the on the exact position, basically. Yeah. And then it will just loop over all of them. So first we need to do one more thing, and that is <clears throat> read the ship from the list and save it here. Nice. And here we need one more check, and that is for the Uh, that it is the correct ship because we don't want to add the module on the wrong ship and if uh, the the planet falls script did it by the hull size so i think that's uh, a good way of doing it and we will go one step further and we will check oh. uh, i uh, there definitely was a way to tell the yeah 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 weight and height separately. So we uh, first check that the the weight is equal to and let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine. Ah. And then we check that the height is equal to, again, let's go to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I will probably write a automatic generator for this as well. So when you compile, you get, you get two files, one for the player ships, this one, and another one like this. One of those hull width uh, is what? height or is it both the same? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. good, uh, good observation. I copy pasting error on on my side. Good call. So here is one. Oh, we need to right. This is the actual weight and this is the desired weight, and we need to compare that they are the same. Same here. And both of them need to be uh, met at the same time. And we can just do this. And that, that should be it, I think. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, so now we go to... Okay, try. Here, compile. Yeah, always compile. Always compile, exactly. And what was it called? Something. It's one below. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, misclick. 
out of the ant. We put it exactly underneath it and play. Okay, I'm really curious to see it work. Exciting. Oh? No, something is wrong here. Oh, right. <laughs> My oh, it's a closer. <laughs> it's a wrong shit. You have to change the <laughs> Oh, it just, it just starts again. Okay, so let me change this first. Yeah. So we go to custom, choose design. Yeah, choose the design, exactly. So we apply and save. So let's yeah nice nice way of destroying ships i, yeah, I use yeah. the lead yeah. and the cursor <laughs> you use an emitter <laughs> wait it's a, it's is this again nice hey, what 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 is going on no we want custom yeah. oh you didn't hit apply maybe apply now it looks good so so let's yeah. let's hope that monitor. Oh yeah, it, it 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 seems fine now. So come on. Now we should be. Oh, it would be so great if it just worked. And it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, something went wrong. Now it should pop up maybe. Wait, maybe. Yeah, yeah, here we go. So, oh, this is uh, this is interesting. So, uh, when it is de detecting a ship like this, the center of the ship, the center of the command module, must be exactly on the on the top. Wow, that's really really fast. Oh, that must be the center of the core. Yeah, it uh, it checks for the center of this, so maybe just increase increase the range a bit. Well, actually, if this will be generated automatically, I can uh, check what is the center of the command module versus the center of the entire ship and set this range exactly. Wow, that that would be so great. Ah. So, and maybe here I could even check uh, every single, wait, where, where, where was this, right, every single piece of the hull, including if it's armor or not. So even if another ship passes over with exactly the same width and height, it would still need the exact plan of the hull. And ah, I guess I, I could guess just I could put just that all in code so the so so programmers don't have to do that. And this spawns enemy bombs. Let's just try one with uh, with ah I'm sorry. I just copy this and set it to friendly. That looks beautiful. Right, and let's also copy no yeah copy this one. <laughs> and the particles so yeah. just keeps crying it. When this happens, I used to build build some land around it so the particles can destroy. But this works also. Yeah, I yeah, and we see a friendly spawn. So this is great. Cool. I really like this. <laughs> this is very cool, Kjax. Yeah. So uh, thanks for being thanks here. For and hey, I... welcome. thanks for the explanation. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no problem. No problem. And for the tutorial, I um, when you stuff and I am available, I'm happy to uh, watch you. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. So uh, to the viewers on YouTube, thanks for watching too, and see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.